What is strategy? Strategy is an overused word, frequently heard in politics, in business, in everything. But often, very often, it is misused and misunderstood. In chess, a saying goes, tactics are what you do when there is something to do. Strategy is what you do when there is nothing to do. That is, tactics are action and reaction to what is happening in the moment. Strategy is long-term planning, the deeper element of setting goals. I like to say that strategy is the future of present decisions. And each move you make is a decision. But before you go dive into the deep end, a few examples of strategic planning for my own games. I picked up two games. One is about structural advantages and how you can use the weaknesses in the opponent's camp. Another one is more complex. It's about positional sacrifice and about evaluating complicated position with unbalanced material where you have to take into account the activities of your pieces, the limitation of the activities of the opponent's pieces, and control of the uh, key squares. So let's start with the first game. I played against Etienne Bacro in 2000 in Sarajevo. Uh, my uh, former coach, Alexander Nikitin, he was there helping Bacro and uh, he called this game a lesson from the world champion. I opted for a scotch opening and uh, at the end played fairly quickly, so we made these opening moves. I don't want to spend any uh, extra time because it's just a theory. And um, he played this modern move, which is probably not the best one, though. It's not the end of the world, so there are other uh, moves for black so to, to make. So queen e4, provoking f5. It's not good to take en passant because of the king f7. White's uh, underdevelopment manifests because now it's a threat, rook e8. Uh, uh, pinning, pinning the queen. So, since white is slightly behind development, so you don't want to open the position. Queen f3, queen d4, knight c3, exchange here, bishop, bishop b4, oh, nice tactic, so it's the double pin, so I cannot take this bishop because my rook is hanging, and of course, queen is untouchable because my king is uh, uh, under attack. Rook c1, exchange, and uh, while the material is equal, black already you know, should worry about the end game frameworks. So Bakro castle long and just hoping just to open a position quickly, but I play c5, just pushing this uh, a pawn and fixing this pawn structure. And black's best move was of course taking on f1, uh, just exchanging the bishops, though white still has an edge. So the bishop b7 move, uh, I, I have to say that I was surprised because sometimes you just have to make your decisions based on, on aesthetics. So just, it's, just look at this visual effect. Your bishop goes there and, and compare this one and this one. This bishop will do almost nothing till the end of the game because it's, uh, as we joke, it's not a bishop but it's a big pawn. So that uh, has uh, no future at all. Um, uh, but again, it's black position is still solid and you have to find a way just to break through. So first you have to exchange the queens because black queen is too dangerous and if position is open, then your king is you know, in the center. Best chance was, prob was probably to keep the queens, but uh, back row two, queen e3. Uh, I guess, you know, playing the world champion is always, always a challenge. So rook e3 and, and he hoped that he can now just open the position, but 
it's an illusion because this pawn is not uh, is not an, any any threat. After bishop c4, taking this pawn just doesn't uh, make any any sense for for black because these pawns are paralyzed. This bishop's still not playing, and this pawn you know becomes an, you know a real threat. So just so um, black will try to block block this position here, and uh, after h4 he decided to to um, close the position in the center. Um, uh, it's very hard to give an advice here because again, taking this pawn doesn't make much sense for black, so it's just, it's the, uh, after bishop d3 playing h5, preventing h5. So uh, I'm sure he recognized how dangerous position was because all black pawns are on the white, almost all on, on the white squares, all this weak, on some weak, but position is closed. And you know, sometimes you, know, you can uh, have the bad pawn structure, but still close nature of the position could help you to survive. Um, but it was not the case. So rook g3, rook h6, now b4. Um, so I just keep the pressure on both sides. So king a6, king d2, rook a8, and rook b1. So now this rook keeps this rook under control. This rook comes here. So, and uh, um, Bakro continues his plan, defensive plan, trying just to have everything protected. But white has too much space, you know, and could maneuver attacking pawns here and there, and eventually, you know, it's the whole position will, will, will collapse. So trying to sort of to uh, uh, release the rook from protecting the pawn. Uh, rook a3. But now, just rook g5, important move, because if now this move, or this rook moves elsewhere, then I could, let's say, here, then I can play g4, and then h5, just, you know, and black position collapses. So the rook has to be there, just, you know, waiting, waiting for, for more action. So just rook a6, king goes in the center. Rook b8, a little, little trick, taking here rook a8, so pin. So that's why rook a5, forcing, forcing rook to go back. Uh, as you can see, this this is uh, black has virtually no moves, so white attacks on all sides. Rook h8. Uh, sometimes, when you have a big strategic advantage, you can just you know repeat the moves and just see what the opponent does. So again, pushing back, and now key square. From here, bishop attacks in both directions on king side, and also keeps an eye on 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 the queen side. So rook goes here, and then time to uh, uh, move back and concentrate on, on, on a different attack. So attacking, attacking uh, mm, uh, black on, on the other side. So, um, and if bishop goes on c8, then I can start you know, an attack by just making uh, sacrifices, but after rook g6, Black will not survive, so that's this. It's the mating attack very quickly uh, comes. So that's 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 also shows you an advantage of having more space because your pieces can move, you know, from one side to another very, very, very quickly. So it's uh, it's like in, in a military uh, exercise. So you just can shift your army from one part of the board to another part of the board. Uh, I could try to uh, go back. So just like. Uh, mirroring the movements of, of my rooks, but again, it's, uh, it, was too, it was too late. So now bishop takes h5, and uh, black resigned, because after rook h5, take on h5, e6, check, king f8, e7, and he takes, I take the rook. So that's, again, instruct game, instructive game. Not much of a defense from, from, from black, but uh, probably good illustration. So how you can... Uh, 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 benefit from strategic advantages that uh, you can allocate uh, uh, with the pawn structure and with the space. 